Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you. Today we're gonna see how RSA encryption work. Exactly the math behind it. So what is a cryptography? Cryptography is a study or a technology which help uh, to have a secure communication. By that way, only uh, sender and the intended recipient of the message uh, only to view the uh, contents. So what cryptography does, it encrypt your message of, uh, from the sender side and decrypt those messages, uh, encrypted messages into plain text at the receiver end. So for this encryption and decryption, cryptography use uh, a key. It can be a single key for encryption and decryption or it can be uh, a key pair like a public key and private key that is most commonly in use today. That is what called as asymmetric key cryptography. In an asymmetric cryptography, a key pair is used. It means a public key is used for encryption. Then it means you need a private key, which is a key pair for decryption. If you encrypted with a private key your message, then you need a public key to decrypt it. You cannot encrypt and decrypt with same key. So it makes people uh, think about you encrypted with some kind of values at the same time you're gonna decrypt it with a different value right because it's a two key a two pair of keys so how it is possible it remains as a question to the people who are new to uh, cryptography so let's understand today how the math works uh, for asymmetric key cryptography so the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna select two prime numbers the smallest one to make the calculation easy i'm going to choose p is equal to 3 and q is equal to 5 so i have two prime numbers p is equal to 3 and q is equal to 5 so i'm going to calculate n and r so n is equal to p multiple of q which means the product of the prime numbers 3 and 5 that gives me 15 then I'm gonna run again another calculation that is r is equal to p minus 1 multiple of q minus 1 that is 8 so now I have four numbers p q n and r now let us find another value that is e e is your choice actually you can choose any value e that is going to be our private key so the only condition to choose E is uh, no common factors exist with the result of R. So here the result value that we have uh, for R is 8. So you need to choose E which has no common factors with R or 8. So the options are 3 is there, 5 is there, 7 is there. It should be less than R so that you cannot go beyond 8 in a real scenario you're going to encrypt with a large prime numbers so you don't need to worry about someone can guess or try it multiple time and uh, get your private or public key that is impossible uh, in in a time period so the value you choose e should be less than r and also uh, shouldn't have any common factor with the result of r that is 8 step 4 is find d d is going to be your public key so maybe it is complicated but it's uh, not that complicated because to find d what you have to do is you write e multiple of d minus 1 then the result of e d minus 1 when you divide it with the value of r it should give you a, a result that without a reminder so you have to guess actually this value uh, for example if you give 10 uh, 10 will give you a result uh, 20, uh, 29 uh, if you divide the 29 divided by uh, the r value then you get 3 reminder 5 but the condition is the value of d should be uh, something which gives you the result no reminder so if i choose d is equal to 11 then 3 multiple of 11 minus 1 divided by 8 is going to give me 32 by 8 that is 4 without any reminder so now i got 
e and d that is my private and public key the value of e is 3 and d is 11. now it is time to encrypt a message so m is equal to 2 that is my message so what you have to do you have to uh, give this message value to the encryption formula then we will do the same way to decrypt it also so the encryption formula is message exponential modulus n so that is uh, the message is 2 exponential value is 3 so 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8 then when you take a modulus of 8 modulus 15 that gives you 8 so 8 is your uh, cipher test that means the encrypted value of or encrypted uh, value of your message m is equal to 2 when it reaches to the receiver end you use your private key now to encrypt right when it reaches to your receiver side you're going to replace this formula with cipher exponential d modulus n so cipher value is 8 that you put here then the d value is the public key that is here that you're gonna put here then 8 uh, exponent 11 then modulus of 15 15 is the value of n that will give you what exactly the message was if you try any other number you will not get this value so it is now you may think that it is easy you can try multiple numbers because our message is a small number and the, the prime number that we choose is also small number what if if this number is like a 256 bit value or 512 bit value or more than that it is not that easy uh, to guess even for the high efficient computers so this helps us to have a secure communication with a key pair that is asymmetric key pair and this is strongly involved in today's uh, web server communication identity authentication and many other authentication technologies thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe my youtube channel